<laughs> Welcome back, everyone. My name is Megan Zero. Yeah, finally back here with more Final Fantasy VII. Now, I finally decided, like, early this morning, the day I'm recording this, like, the day after graduation for me, I decided to buckle down, like, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna hurry up and max out every single stat, with the exception of Magic and Spirit, which is, we're good so on, for, so far, because now we actually are good in terms of stats, so now the only thing we really have to do is chase down, um, Ultima Weapon. So that's what's primarily going to be what this episode's about, is that we're going to be chasing down Ultima Weapon and hopefully finding the dang thing, because good lord, we have yet to actually get it to where we needed to land, being in Cosmo Canyon, where it would crash down and eventually just, you know, finally just die. But, um... Yeah, so that's the only unfortunate thing. It's like, now we have to actually search for the dang thing wherever it might be, because... Remember, this thing's, like, attack pattern is random on where it is, on where we go. Oh, there it is. So now we just kind of have to follow it. And hopefully, it will actually, you know, go where we need to go, being Cosmo Canyon. But since it's random on where the heck it will fly, and we just can't force it to go somewhere, we have to keep chasing it over and over and over. And we kind of just have to... Follow it until it stops moving. When will it stop moving? I have absolutely no idea. Because, yeah, it just did a complete instant U turn. It's like, oh, nope, I don't want to go that way. I'm going to go the other way. And it's kind of doing the same thing now, where we're trying to. It just does its own thing. Right now, do we just bother it until it just says, alright, fine, I'm just going to go somewhere so I can fight you? I have no idea. It could plan to destroy Kami, it could plan to destroy Midgar, which probably would be the smart thing if I'm being honest. It's like, oh, we're gonna destroy Midgar now, and hopefully it just doesn't, you know, F off into the distance. Because you gotta track this thing down, because it's massive. Come on, are you finally going there? Or have I bugged you enough to, like, are you finally screw this, we're gonna fight? Uh, kinda. I mean, you're attacking nowhere for the sake of attacking nowhere. But well, alright, let's hurry up and get this done. Hopefully, we're gonna do big guard. And then white wing. And Vincent does uh, he did fine. He actually took that fairly well. Like very, very well in comparison to like most other fights. And I do apologize if you're hearing some double noise. I have, I can't find my earphones. So you're kinda of stuck with me um just uh trying to find something I can listen to. So, when I do, because uh, we're going to be exploring the, if we defeat this thing enough times, we'll be exploring the one area where you need to fight it, otherwise you're going to use, uh, you're going to, oh, it decided to screw off, like, oh, nope, I ain't dealing with this crap anymore. Alright, bye, Ultima Weapon. And depending on how long, um, one of the other videos goes for, because uh, cause now, really, there's only, what, three or four things left for us to do? Okay, so where did Ultima Weapon go? I have no idea. It flew off in some distance. So now we actually have to track it down again. Because, God forbid, you actually find somewhere where this thing doesn't want to fly. Because I want it to fly here, near Cosmo Canyon. But now we actually have to track it down, and, well, that could take forever. So we're just kind of... I am turning up on triple speed even though that's kind of the wrong thing to do when trying to track this stupid dragon <laughs> big guy down. And I'm surprised, like, we've seen Emerald Weapon just kind of hovering around in the ocean, but there's a- I can't, again, I can't remember if the other one, the other super boss in this game, that was only added in the English version for some reason, and then they- I think they retroactively added it back in re-releases of the Japanese version. Like, oh yeah, now you can actually, you know, come here and fight these bosses. Hey, finally, found you. Alright, come on. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it. Hey, can you attack, like, near Cosmo Canyon? Because I need you to do that. I'm sick and tired of being in this ship. I do like this game, and I do have to get back to the other games I'm playing. Because I have this. I'm almost done with Dark Souls. I still have Borderlands 2, and I really need to get back to the remake. 
but I also need to get a new controller because the freaking L button I, uh, I'm trying to fix because my controller setup was broken for a while and I was trying to fix it but now it's like not completely broken but it's to the point where it's annoying trying to fix it so I might as well just get a new one or just pay someone to fix it for me which I will probably will end up doing because it's at this point it's like not screw it just pay someone else to fix it or something come on I'm sick and tired of chasing you go to Cosmo Canyon like maybe if I make it like chapter based for this particular episode it was like oh the make it the chase <laughs> if I could put the music but then again Final Fantasy copyrights freaking everything relating to its music because if I wanted to let the boss battle ro rock out for a bit like nope you can't do that you can't let the boss battle rock out because we own the copyright which sucks about it but eh what can you do because I do know for like particularly for like the last ep uh, the episode for when we take down the final boss because everyone knows at this point it's Sephiroth um, for when we fight Sephiroth, um, that last cutscene, it's blocked because someone I was watching, um, Storm 7. Uh, oh, you're attacking Calm? Oh, no. Corel. Why? I have no idea. We're still in the air. But I'm pretty sure I have long range materia on Cloud. Or, or long range materia on him. Oh, nope, I can't. I can't reach him. Alright. Well, uh, new kit. Uh, what? Oh, now you're just flying away again? You got hit once? Like, whoa! I don't appreciate that. <laughs> I hit too hard. But with, like, I want to do, like, other stuff, like, weekly. Like, I want to play gotcha games on here as well and show those off. But I don't have... I don't know how to do it for my computer if I'm being completely and utterly honest. Hey, oh my gosh, finally, finally, we are finally going to do this. It's time to bring down Ultimate Weapon for real, for real. So, I'm going to have to cast Fire. Rufy will cast Big Guard and Vincent will use White Wings so we can heal up all that damage, but I can't use Omni Slash because I can't reach Ultimate Weapon. So we're just going to spam abilities and hopefully that will kill. And we're actually going to get Cloud's ultimate weapon this episode. I also need to do something else because this is actually dumb of me because I also need to show off two things because I actually got Vincent's and Sid's limits to level 3, both of them. So now I can actually show off their uh, level 4 limits. But that'll probably be at the end of the episode, if I'm being entirely honest. Because, guess what, um... Uh, whoa, was that Shadow Flare? Is that Shadow Flare? Hey, we learned Shadow Flare! Okay! I was not expecting to learn that right now, because I believe there's only like three enemies in the entire game that use that skill. Well, two of them being in the endgame area, and as you saw right here, um, with Ultimate Weapon. All was born, and yeah, look at that. And we got Cloud's ultimate weapon, Ultima Weapon. So with that, you defeat Ultima Weapon, who was just kind of flying around, to store, and we were throwing his plans. So now, with its destruction, it created a crater that allows us to, which we can't land here for some reason, so I'm just gonna land all the way over here. Turn on triple speed and turn off no enemy encounters because there's really no point. And here we get to a new area. This is the Ancient Forest, I believe? Yeah, it's the Ancient Forest. So what is this place? Releasing insects and frogs by pressing it. Insects and frogs react differently depending on where you release them. They'll try many different places. Press X to give up, you will return to the entrance. Okay, so yeah. The Ancient Forest is a bit of a puzzle area and it is annoying. So... You want to like kind of to switch around each of these areas when you go through them. Ah, oh, crap baskets. All right, let's see what we fight. I have no idea what these enemies are, but uh, let's show off ultimate weapon. Uh, ultimate weapon. 
Um, Cloud's ultimate weapon, like all the others, is based on how full one of the gauges are in the game. For Cloud specifically, it's for his HP. But we're actually going to hold off on using ultimate weapon because like all ultimate weapons in this game, it relies on, it doesn't have any materia growth. So by having the conformer on UV, we're not getting anything in terms of materia growth. So the way this works is that you want to be careful uh, when you're going through. And yeah, yeah, oh, crap. Okay, grab the frog. And I'm assuming we're gonna have to use it to make it eat the uh, eat the flies here, right? Okay. Okay. Grab this, and then you kind of want to. You have to be kind of careful with how you do this. I want to try to see what happens when you do with the frog. Oh, new enemies. Or not really new enemies, reskinned enemies. I'm gonna have Yuffie use White Wing so we can get some healing. And we want to get some kills with uh, Vincent because Vincent's the only one who, I believe, like, Ultimate Weapon is based on how many kills he's gotten throughout the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I probably said that in that his episode, but. Um, yeah, we don't have that. Uh, that's like an invisible gauge, it's really weird. Ah, crap. Okay, so yeah, the weird thing about this is like you have to be quick when it comes to gathering the um, insects and the frogs when crossing this area, because then you get stuff like that. Like you have to throw in like the flies really quickly, and then you have to wait for, <laughs> and then you have to like I say, it's a puzzle dungeon, and you have to be quick about it. So what I'm gonna do is just hurry up and defeat the enemies because. Well, they're pretty weak. Ooh, we get an X potion though, so I might use the um, item, the W item glitch on that. Just gonna use this. Get the frog. Oh, come on! Yeah, and uh, like, yeah, this is very short. It depends on. It's really dependent on how fast you can go. And yeah. <laughs> you can get stuck up here. So... Yeah. You kind of want to... I believe you want to save the frog for last, because there is puzzle elements to this, so... I think I actually might turn off enemy encounters for this, because this can and will take a while. Depending on where you release them. I think in order... Uh, let me see. In order to get to... Is it... In order to get across the Venus flytrap, you have to be, um... Was it? You have to be uh, moving slowly. I can't be sure. I'm just gonna run. Yeah, I'm gonna turn off enemy counters here. I won't, cause we've seen most of them already. So let me see. Is it? Nope. It's received super shot. Okay. Okay. So I can't. Even... Okay. No. Well, we got the super super shot, which I'm believing is a Vincent based weapon. Super shot, yeah. It's oh, is it? You have 97, but the death penalty again. Eh. Hmm. So this is strange because Vincent, this is the death penalty is his ultimate weapon, but you really don't see a whole lot of other weapons like with no materia growth, like that's have flat out zero. Because if they do, it's usually based for something else. Okay, so hurry, 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 come on, come on, come on, uh, uh, uh. yes, let's go. Really? I, uh, just defeat the enemy, just really just defeat the enemy, it's like, it's like since we got past there, it really is that big of a deal. Item, spring gun clip? Is that another Vincent weapon? Spring gun clip. What is it? It might be for um, Barrett. 
But we already have his ultimate weapon, but it's a better weapon you can use on him, so I guess you're like... Or let me phrase that, it's a weapon you can use. Uh, jump. Oh, uh, yeah. Ow. Uh, ha <laughs> ha, I, 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 Jump. Beep. Beep. Come on! <sighs> um, hold up, hold up. Yeah, there was like, I remember like some of the puzzle, but good lord, this place was pretty annoying. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn off Emmy. Okay. Okay, hold up. Okay, uh, uh, crap. Oh boy, this is... Rah! Oh, uh, yeah, you get sent all the way back here, so if you... So, you probably want to maybe turn on God Mode when you do this. Because this can be kind of annoying, if I'm being honest. Uh, because you can... I'm not sure if there's a timing aspect to the, um... Or you might have to, like, go back here, grab something. I didn't know. It could be that. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. Let's see, because I do know you probably need, like... Let's see. Yeah, no, like, you don't keep the frog with you. But you will need to do this all in, like, one entire go. So, in the interest of saving time, I will just hurry up and use a guide. Because... I want to hurry up and get these items, and then, like, hurry up and get to, like, the final area. Because what we need to do is, um... Let's see, now we get in the forest. Do, 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 do. Alright, so this is weird. Okay. okay. You grab the frog. Jump. Use this. Beep. Beep. Alright. Grab this. And then do... Uh, what? This? What? 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 Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Spit out the frog, please. Let's see. Yeah, like, they don't give you many options here, because I probably didn't watch a video of this. Yeah, okay. Alright. I need, like, a guide for this. Let's see. Oh, the spring gun cook was for Red 13. Weird. Ah, uh, of course. You prick. Alright, so. Let's see. Uh, thank goodness I turned off enemy encounters because this would be just annoying. But on the other hand, I also made sure that I used the item to get 999 mega elixirs. I was not dealing with all that again, trust me. So, yeah, the item that's gonna be used for like freaking everything and anything. And the materia that's down here is a all material, slash all materia. Shh, alright, here. Like, <laughs> it's like, what do I do? It's just like, alright. So, it's like you barely touch this thing. It's like, nope. Uh uh. Throw it in there. And we got to sit back because I pressed the button. Friggin' A. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. Hold up. Like, goodness gracious. 
I know I'm bad at games, if I'm being honest, which is like, oh, okay, this is the puzzle-based dungeon that's annoying and difficult to deal with. No. God dang it. What the? Friggin' A, it's because of the friggin' fly. Okay, so, here's the thing. Let's see, let's see, let us see. I'm just gonna have this playing in the background so I can just grab everything, but it's gonna be on silent for me. And I'll just be hopefully trying to blitz through this as fast as I possibly can so I don't suck at this game. Despite the fact that I say I like it, which I do, it's just that I suck at it. The only thing I know, like, alright, this is broken, this is abusable, let's change that. Let's hurry up. Grab that. Jump, jump. Throw that in there, jump. I don't know, take this. Can I keep it? I have no idea. And technically, you can get here earlier if and pretty much only if you, um, have like a chocobo to go about the ways of. Oh ho 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 ho. Oh ho ho. Game. Jump. Yeah, you get a frog. Good lord. Pick the frog, throw in the thing, drop up there. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, come on. Jump in there. Beep, beep. Whoop. Okay, yeah. So I was just being a dummy. That was that was what I was doing. I was just being dumb. You have to wait on here to jump on here. So yeah, I was just being dumb. Okay, come on, hurry up. Throw that in there. Yay, slash all. So, for this one though, you obviously gotta do this. So we're just gonna run up here, speed past it. Hurry up, please. Hurry up, come on. Whoa. Okay, so I probably screwed that up. Maybe, I'm not sure, hold up. Nope, I didn't. You just got do freaking puzzles and all that. So I right, fly here. Okay. Throw that in there. Jump. Throw that in there. Jump up here. Wee. Okay. So we landed up here. I have no idea where I should go. So, okay. Let's see. Okay. Typhoon material. I think that's one of the uh, what another spell one. I think it might be summoned. I'm not entirely sure. I could check. And yeah, if you go down the left way, you come down here. You get the Minerva band. Well, let me see what it does. I have a. It's been a while, I usually just use the ribbon afterwards. Where is the Minerva Band? Or is it, is it? A... That's why it's a moron. All right, let's see, Minerva Band, Minerva Band. It's not here either? Is it a weapon? It might be, unless I'm blind. It might be a weapon. Is it a weapon for who? Tifa? Uh, it might be. Let's see. Reformer? It might be. I'll, I'll have to check. Anyways, though, no, yeah, if you do that, you have to do this again. Beep. Uh, hold up and go across. Alright. I, like again, I have the video playing in the background for me. So, what? Oh, do you have to do it twice? Oh, yes, you do have to do it twice. 
They want you to do it twice if you want to get all the freaking items here. Yeet! Grab that. Yeet! Jump up here. And let's go. Run, 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 run. Yay! Oh, great. More puzzles. Hmm. So, what? Okay, I'm, I'm like looking at the video right here. Which I'll probably put a link to if I remember. Okay. Eat, 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 do that. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at this as like I'm confused. Okay, no, I'm just an idiot. So, frog, go in there. We're gonna, oh crap. Speed up. Come on. Yeet. And then you go all the way back here. And here we are, very end. Here you get the apocalypse, which is Cloud's best growth weapon because it has triple materia growth. So say if you're like in one of the last areas of the game, basically like the end game, you will just do, you throw this on and you grind. So let's grab it. We have this, it's an elixir. And then that's it. We have the ancient force, yeah. Most of the time spent here was uh, me trying to solve a puzzle I was too dumb to solve. But let's also call in uh, Sid, so we can get those limit breaks up. So I'm gonna turn down this and this for right now, and we're gonna get Chaos to Vincent. I'm getting less human with his good lord. And where is High Wind? It should be here, unless I gave it to him already off screen. I shouldn't have. Nope, here it is. Sid, High Wind. Hey, let me see it. And we're gonna change their limits. Uh, yeah, Vincent only gets one per level, as you can see. I probably explained this. Limit set. Now do it for Sid. We gotta beat the high wind. All right. So now I'm just gonna go off to let's say. Uh, uh, hold up. What way? Yeah, there we go. Just a random area so we can show this off. Uh, you know what? Let's go back to our old friend, the Midgar Zolum. Let's beat up that. And well, that will call it a part there, and then next episode we'll actually start the uh, final trek. For we'll clear the final dungeon, but not do the final boss yet. Hey, buddy! <laughs> Guess who? So let's show off Sid's first because Sid actually does damage, while Vincent is transfer is like his transformations is based on what you do. So let's see. Let's go! Uh, 
Uh, yeah. That was fun. I'm a creator. I'm a creator. I'm a moron. But yeah, that was the high wind. So let's. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no 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 you think you'd be friends with Professor Chaos? I've been watching a lot of South Park lately. <laughs> South Park lately. <laughs> and bam, he transforms into Chaos. Which in and of itself is technically... Oh, Satan Slam. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, good lord. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. I think it's better on a smaller set of enemies, but yeah, look at that. It looks sick. But yeah, those were the final parts, so next time you see me, we'll actually be heading towards the final dungeon of the game and going to the best parts of the game to grind, if I'm being entirely honest. Like, Northern Crater is the best way to not, get, not only get the max amount of money, because I think that's like the last... Let me see. Let's let let's get a little sneak peek. How much money in this game have I? Yeah, you need to attain the max amount of gill, and get on the best bromance with Barrett. So, with that, everyone, that'll be it for this part. So, with that, my name is Omega Zero, and I will catch you all later.